do four coding. And it's, yeah, 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 it's Tim's four coding. As James said, he doesn't like September with a T. Uh, and I use September. So does that mean he's somewhere in the in the code? He's hard coded September with a I without a T. James knows he has no. But only likes four letters. about something <laughs> this is as soon as I get internet and, and the screen up I am going to need a screen however So is it my laptop no. or is it? No. I bet it's not your laptop. But at least we're friendly. I am running beta version, so. There we go. Google stand. Yeah. Yes, that's because I just fa what, logged onto the Wi-Fi. So this should well work. There we go. It changes every time you go to the web page. It tells you on the web page anyway, so. <laughs> it's a demo, so you're meant oh, to right. log into it. Okay. So let me sign one other thing. Uh, right, so this is a kind of impromptu talk. Have we got the video going out yet? Or should I wait? Should I start? You should say, hello, mum. Well, she doubles our audience. <laughs> so the video's working? All right, <clears throat> so for those of you to, who don't know, uh, Nagios is basically a network monitoring tool and it's been around for a while. I don't know too much about it, uh, but basically you define what you wanted to check and it'll go to the, those devices on the network and check those items and display the errors. Let's see if I've got screenshots. I'm sure they should have screenshots. Yes. I was hoping this page had screenshots, but I guess it doesn't. Ah, oh, there we are. So basically something like something like that, list of errors and that sort of thing. 
the problem with Nagios is you've got to specify everything that you wanted to check. 